That's and I right. saw there was an article today in Canada that they're changing it. There's no longer fully vaccinated. I think it's up to date, which is basically every nine months. Or, or oh, there's like a new term been, that they're switching. Was it, it Canada? To. I think it was in Australia where I saw that, where they said everything we've said about uh, being fully vaccinated, throw that out. Now we mean three doses, three or four doses. And we might need to update this every nine months or something like that. You're like, oh, okay, interesting. So it's that's like, sorry, is, you were too confident that you knew how to deal with this and that you were 100% right that you, you at least got to fire people and bring out a roll out a new staff and tell me that they know how to handle this. And so I, who, who's believing these old chumps? Like, yeah. I, I, I don't know. How dumb can you be that Fauci Louise, could come out I, and go, I've been wrong about everything thus far. But as long as you follow this suggestion from me, who's listening? Yep. yep. And look, we've said this uh, pretty early on in the vaccine uh when the vaccine regime rose up which there is should be a little bit of a separation between like the initial covid lockdown mandate regime and then the vaccine regime that followed it um that we go well look the obvious like um logical conclusion of this is yes you're gonna have to get boosted it every year maybe twice a year forever in perpetuity that this is going to be the the standard um, Until and now your the, uterus never works again. Yeah, there you go. Um, so uh, it's 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 interesting to watch this this kind of unfold. And I will say that one of the things that I'm that that I find interesting, and I don't exactly know where uh, um, all of this is going to go. And and I don't I also don't think it's predetermined. You know, I think people I, I wouldn't do this if I thought it was predetermined where this was all going to go. Uh, but I think that it's interesting that they're still trying to push this while they are losing so much uh, popular support and while as their figures are collapsing and so much of the narrative is just collapsing, you know, and, and that is, I think, some people uh, very mistakenly um, underappreciate how, how important that is. This is why propaganda persists. And I think this is why undermining the propaganda is very important. This is why the powers that be are so upset with people like Joe Rogan. You're like, wait, what the fuck? You're telling me you got 20 million people listening to Dr. Malone? No, you're not allowed to do that. We must throw everything at you to try to ruin you. Like, this is why they're they're very threatened by those people because it's important for them to propagandize people. And the inverse of that is that it's important to wake people up from the propaganda. So, you know, the the way you propagandize people effectively is to have a plausible narrative that everyone who is perceived as a legitimate authority is parroting. That's how effective propaganda works. And look, if you start with it, the initial, the very, very beginning of the COVID uh, propaganda was plausible. You go, look, there's this novel virus. We do not know what the death rate is. Exactly. People, um, epidemiologists and virologists were correctly projecting that this thing was going to spread like to, you know, to people by the by the billions around the world. A lot of people were going to get this virus and they didn't know exactly what the death rate was. And if the death rate was one or two percentage, the one one or two percentages higher than it was, holy shit, that would be a very different thing than what we had. And so at the very beginning to say, look, we need everyone to isolate and to, so we flatten the curve so we don't overwhelm the hospitals and people aren't dying in stairwells and on the street corner because we don't have enough hospital beds. That at least was plausible. You know what I mean? That it's like, oh, shit. OK, it requires this big sacrifice. It's just a couple of weeks just to make sure that this unbelievable worst case scenario doesn't happen. All right. You know, Um but man, has the propaganda just it's like almost like month by month by month, just gotten so much less plausible. And so that's an interesting dynamic that they're trying to push this. But the propaganda is just not effective in the same way uh, that it was at the beginning. So it's, it's interesting to see both of these things. 